Welcome back guys. So in the previous video we were looking at this topo this simple uh, smart uh, smart smart topology here that we were configuring a motion detector whenever a motion is detected the siren and the CCTV should take action. For so for example when I move over the motion detector you will see the siren ringing and the CCTV in action. So you see. Okay. Okay. So today guys I'm going to show you how to configure, how to set up uh, a smart environment that involves wind detector. Whenever wind is detected, let's close the windows and let's close the doors. So what I'll do, I'll just delete everything and begin uh, again. Okay, so what do I need? I need, um, the first thing that you, you need here is a, a home gateway, guys just need to uh, uh, take the home gateway place it there then you need the smart devices and you need to control wind so there must be a wind detector anemo uh, i don't know it's called an anemometer something like that I think so um so here is the anemometer wind detector and i place it there at the center and i need a door window okay door in the window door in the window so let's say when a wind is detected and the door was open, that door should be closed, a window should be closed. Okay. All right. And um, also I need a controller device which in this case would be our tablet. So the tablet, you need to con con uh, connect the tablet to the home gateway. Remember the password of the home gateway is um, just come to config, then wireless. It does this the ISSID or the Wi-Fi name, but it doesn't have password. So let's go back to let's go back to our uh, tablet. Click on the config and the wireless zero, and just uh, paste the SSID there. Home gateway. Wait it to connect. We just wait it to connect so that we can begin configuration. Okay. The next thing to ensure ensure that every device has been a located IP address. Uh, it has not been a located IP address. It has it has been a located IP address. Uh, it has been a located IP address, and this one also. It has been a located IP address. So I'll go back to this and check again. Uh -huh. I just have to make sure that it has IP address first. Come to config. Uh, come to static. Go back to DHCP again. Now it will get IP address. If I go back, now it has gotten IP address. Good. All right. The next step. What do you do? Well, let's register this IoT devices to the def to the home gateway. How do you do that? Just click on IoT device, come to config, and scroll down and say IoT server to be home gateway. This one also click on it, come to config, say IoT server to be home gateway. Close that. Finally, come to this one, config say it is server to be home gateway and close that one. all right so basically all of these iot devices have been registered to home gateway which is the iot server and the iot server can be controlled from our tablet pc how do you do that just click on the tablet pc come to desktop and there is a option for IoT monitor. Just click on IoT monitor. Uh, that's the password. That's the address by default. But username and password. Just log in, and you see all the devices are here. We have a door, window, wind detector, and window. Okay. So what I'll do, I just uh, try to name them. Let's say this is a uh, door, smart door. Smart door. Uh, this is wind detector. Wind. Uh, and this is a smart window. Okay. All right. So, how do you want to control them? Remember, although for wind detector, um, I can say that uh, the action is always uh, very, very complicated, you know, because um, 
it starts on its own let me just confirm here with detector there is no option to start it there is no option that it can start you just uh, it can just start uh, randomly it shut down it's, it starts randomly it's shut down so uh, we just have to wait it until uh, it starts so for example on this tablet you see we can uh, lock the door you see yes it's red now we can unlock the door yes uh, green then for window also for the window also for the window we can uh, unlock it you can see now it's open okay the door is also open so guys we want to set a condition that when wind is detected the door and the window should be closed and and then guys, there is always a, a way of um changing the icons of the item or the or the or the configuration of item so that they behave the way you want them for example you know i want a situation where i hover over the wind detector i can see it has detected wind so what do i do i changed uh, an icon okay so i just go to smart devices uh i choose a motion detector and i place it here just a minute because wind detector cannot do what i want i just click on motion detector click on it then come to advanced okay come to advanced then thing editor come to advanced then thing editor then you just uh, close this one and close this one and click on new if you click on new uh, you will get where the smart devices are and you look where the wind detector is look where the wind detector is okay look where the wind detector is okay so this here is the first wind detector image and here is the second wind detector image you click on that one and open then you another you had another one which is the last one this one and open okay so if you come to layout the first one with that one the rule is okay so let's say mm, just a minute okay so i can just remove the first wind detector i can remove on the first wind detector and change this to our new wind detector okay so i go to tablet again I go to IoT monitor and um, just a minute and these are the smart devices so I log out first and ensure that this has picked IP address okay it has picked IP address but it has not been registered here okay and you come to config and register it to home gateway okay all right Remember, this was initially a motion detector, but I, I just changed the icon because uh, window de wind detector was a uh, kind of a static thing. It was not kind of interactive, okay? Alright, so we come to tablet, keep to IoT monitor, and um, you log in. Now it's here. And if you go to condition, you can see wind detect, okay? um just i remove this the first rule that we set yes and now let's set it again let's say wind uh detect wind detect so in case wind detector uh, on is true then the smart door and the smart uh, i mean the lock should be locked it should not be unlocked then add another condition uh smart window uh, on should be false okay and you eat it another one uh, let's add uh, another rule to nullify that no wind just see wind detector on is false when there's no wind then smart door lock should be unlocked it should be unlocked for fresh air also smart window should be on for 
uh, fresh here it's okay and uh, that's how it's done okay so the conditions are here all right so let's go back here and try to the first thing that i'll do is just to come back home here and uh, open the door unlock and also window uh the window is on okay the window is on so let's detect wind let's try to detect wind let's put it somewhere here I put it somewhere here so let's set to detect wind I'll hover over the wind detector very sorry just uh, press on halt and bring the cursor of our wind detector you will see everything this one and this one will be closed okay you see they are closed because wind detector is on now I remove it there and when it's off the door and the window opens so if I move over it again, press hold, cursor, it's closed. So that's how to set up wind detector. Remember, uh, the original wind detector is a kind of static thing. You cannot if you move over it, nothing happens. Okay, if you move over it, nothing happens. But how to change? Uh, how to change it? So how do we get an interactive um, a, a device? You. S you choose on uh, motion detector and uh, uh, and change the icon the way we did here okay so that's very simple and i believe you've learned uh, something from my videos thank you and so let's see you again in the next video